United Arab Emirates is a federation created in 1971. The country is still young, yet its accomplishments have outperformed many of its elders. A prime location for business, it offers a wealth of attractive conditions in which to establish, grow and expand business activities at both the local and international levels. From the rocky landscapes of Ras Al Khaimah and Fajera to the bustling city of Dubai, from the modern capital of Abu Dhabi to the oasis of Al Ain, along with the traditional emirate of Sharjah and the smaller emirates of Ajman and Umar Quain, the landscapes on display are all distinctive. Most importantly, the types of businesses and industries present in each part of the country differs greatly. The UAE economic landscape can now be defined by its core values, well-being, innovation, prosperity, connectivity, productivity, stability, and vision for growth. The UAE has invested heavily into the well-being of its people and residents, dedicating significant efforts towards culture, education, and its healthcare sectors. The quality of life in the UAE goes far beyond healthy habits. The primary goal of the government is to provide the highest quality of life to its residents in line with international best practices. The leadership in the UAE listened very carefully to the needs and the requirements of everyone who is living here in the UAE. Not only the nationals, but the nationals and the expatriates together. And through that, we are able to understand and be able to accommodate uh, these areas. Now, the UAE uh, has been uh, very uh, fortunate to be able to uh, accommodate for all this and provide for this. The UAE uh, has been ranked as uh, one of the highest actually when it comes to this area and it's also continuously seeking to be the highest. I do believe that we are probably one of the happiest uh, nation on, on the face of the earth. From its range of cultural activities to its educational opportunities for all ages, the country provides wellness in every facet of daily life. What makes Sharjah really special is our focus on culture, arts and education, which makes it an ideal destination for visitors and investors alike. We're home to one of the best and largest universities in the region. Sharjah is considered the cultural heart of the UAE. In 1998, it was crowned cultural capital of the Arab world by UNESCO. The economy of the United Arab Emirates is one of the strongest economies in terms of growth and diversification. The insurance sector is a key component of the economy, which has contributed 2% of the GDP. The insurance premiums exceeded $9 billion in 2014, grown over the last five years of a rate of 11% of the written premium. We have 60 insurance companies in total, 34 of them are national and 26 foreign branches. The UAE Insurance Authority is continuing to develop the technical, legal and financial frameworks to promote the competitiveness of the sector. This provides both investments and services opportunities. The UAE offers the best aspects of a healthy, balanced and enjoyable lifestyle. The country's leaders have placed innovation at the center of the UAE's drive for growth. After acquiring knowledge and technology from global industry partners, the UAE is now contributing its own expertise to lead the way onto new scientific paths. In the cycle of a country's development, the turning point comes when the domestic industry sector begins to develop its own intellectual properties. With pioneering work in infrastructure, the energy sector, and in logistics, the UAE is also pushing boundaries in fields of aerospace and technology, as well as more design-based, creative fields. There are, of course, a number of steps that have been taken with that regard. With a clear objective of the sectors that we are going to focus on, seven sectors have been identified with the uh, proper also uh, direction in terms of who will be responsible for the development of these different sectors as we go on. We are looking at innovation uh, through sustainability of the economy because it's not just only the uh, typical type of economic sector that we have been uh, pushing for, but this is a new challenge for the country and for the economy of the country. The Innovation Initiative was launched to develop new technology, expertise and intellectual property to serve the UAE's visionary growth in science, industry and creative fields. Uh, there are several sectors within the economy that drives the economic growth across the UAE. 
initiating mass density as as a focus and the hub of renewable energy. Uh, energy, of course, is one of the sectors that has driven the economy in the past, and also it will contribute to driving other sectors within the economy. تم إنشاء مركز محمد بن راشد للفضاء من قبل حكومة دبي بهدف دعم الابتكارات العلمية والتقدم التقني في إمارة دبي والإمارات العربية المتحدة طبعاً الهدف من إنشاء المركز هو تطوير المعارف والمهارات العلمية للإماراتيين ويعمل المركز بشكل أساسي على تنفيذ وتطوير أبحاث في مجال الفضاء الخارجي وتصنيع الأقمار الصناعية وتطوير النظم ذات الصلة وتوفير خدمات التصوير الفضائي وخدمات المحطة الأرضية والدعم للأقمار الصناعية الأخرى كذلك سيعمل المركز على الإعداد والتنفيذ والإشراف على كافة مراحل مهمة الإمارات لاستكشاف كوكب المريخ اللي هو مسبار الأمل بالإضافة إلى المشاريع المتعلقة بعلوم وتطبيقات الأقمار الصناعية إلى جانب غيرها من المشاريع التقنية المتقدمة التي تقوم جهات معينة بإسنادها إليه. With leading scientific projects driven through intellectual and technological development, the UAE is pushing itself to the forefront of innovation. The goal of a country's economic growth is to always provide for its people. With one of the highest GDPs per capita in the world, the UAE is setting new benchmarks for prosperity in the region, spreading wealth to each corner of the land. Though initially built on oil wealth, the UAE has expanded into multiple successful sectors. This has allowed it to spread its investments and therefore its returns across many different complementary fields, making it a perfect platform for international capital flows. We have been fortunate since the establishment of the UAE. The leadership has focused on the economic agenda from uh, the start since 1971. The UAE economy is the second largest economy in the Arab world uh, at the present time. GDP of the UAE have reached almost 419 billion US dollars. This is really an indication that uh, this economy uh, has uh, really grown and developed. We are very happy and very lucky uh, with the way uh, this uh, economy has been also diversified, with uh, oil contributing uh, roughly 30% to the GDP right now. Such a prosperous economy requires a solid financial backbone to bolster its foundation, manage its capital and nurture its expansion. The UE benefits from a very large share of their GDP not being related to oil. So they've been able to diversify their economy. Second of all, the location of the UE is really spot on between Asia and the Middle East. And as such, a lot of companies have established themselves in the UE as trade companies driving the link between uh, Asia as well as the Middle East. And third, of course, it's a very strong country from a financial wealth perspective. It has the largest financial wealth, sovereign wealth fund in the world. The UAE, as you know, is a very lovely place to live. So it's easy to attract top-notch talent. And a lot of people from large centers like London or the US have actually moved to the UAE to join large companies and financial sector companies here. The other good thing is that today we have more than 50 banks in the UAE operating. Next to that, more than 350 banks in the DIFC. So it's a very, very well-served uh, market. And don't forget, since it is the largest banking sector in the whole of the Middle East, it clearly creates a lot of opportunities for banks. With a resilient, solid presence on the international stage, the UAE offers a prosperous environment to all its residents. The UAE's strategic geographical location makes it a prime logistics platform for international businesses. Its seven international airports and multiple seaports offer an exceptional combined service for the shipping, manufacturing and distribution industries. The UAE has gone further with the solid telecommunications network, cultural events that bring nationalities together and tourism propositions for both families and business travellers, all linked together into a single equation. We try to make sure that uh, our connectivity with the world uh, is uh, there. The later part of the 20th century, the UAE, if you notice, uh, has focused on the uh, development of uh, infrastructure, 
uh, some of the best ports and airports and road networks and telecommunication. It's all with the objective of course connecting to the rest of the world but also making sure that enhance another part of the overall economy of the OE and that is trade. Fluidity is achieved by building bridges between people, links that provide smooth exchanges of ideas, information and of course physical goods. The UAE continues to expand in each of these directions. We believe that connectivity has become a basic human right. The recent history of the UAE saw it become a global platform for goods and merchandise at first. The infrastructure in the UAE is one of the most advanced in the world. In telecommunications, wireless and fiber optic networks are the enablers of connectivity among people and among objects. The UAE leadership strongly believes that this digital transformation is a driving engine for economic prosperity. The framework set by the leadership will create fertile ground for cross-pollination and innovation, leading to an ecosystem that will be a model for the world. And if asked, where is all this going? We are simply reminded of the most noble and meaningful objective of all, making people happy. With integrated physical, digital and ideological networks, the UAE has already leapt ahead of the competition. The UAE remains focused on leveraging its limited natural resources into a robust and expansive industrial sector. While oil and gas provide the lion's share of a domestic GDP, the country has diversified by building highly efficient industries on its home soil. The focus on productivity pushes companies to increase their output with the same resources. This drives innovation in sustainable energy, recycling solutions as well as new industrial processes for more efficient production across the entire economy. We live in a very competitive world. Anyone who could uh, sort of slow down in terms of uh, being part of this competition would lose on productivity and competitiveness actually, because you know these two words somehow go together. And we have been uh, moving upward in terms of many of the competitiveness reports that is coming out from the different uh, organizations, global organizations. But uh, productivity is a way of how nations can really mark themselves in the middle of so many competitive nations. And the UAE uh, has put actually the number one as a target. And number one, it means in every field. It doesn't mean in a single field. It's a challenge for all of us in the government actually and in the different sectors, both the federal and local governments. And we are doing it. We only are happy with the figure number one and that's where we're going. After developing such an integrated trade hub through its connectivity, the natural evolution of the UAE is to expand its productivity, adding value to the resources that are moving in and out of the country and generating a truly mature economy. Productivity is really important both at a company scale and at a country scale because effectively both at a company and at a country scale all these entities are in competition for investment, they're in competition with other entities that are also looking for investment and for funds and therefore to be a cost-effective and productive operating environment is extremely important when people make investment decisions. The UAE provides a great enabling environment for productivity through its IT infrastructure, its logistical infrastructure, it has fantastic health and educational facilities providing talented workforce and therefore provides a really competitive global investment environment to do business. Ras al Khaimah prides itself on its productivity. It is known for its developed industrial sector. Ras al Khaimah has earned a reputation as a gateway for businesses across multiple industries to access the world's most dynamic market. The private sector is harnessing productivity for the value-added benefit of the UAE to serve the Emirates and beyond. The UAE's reliable government structure combined with a resilient economy offers a unique proposition for its commercial residents. With uncertainty clouding international markets, the UAE provides a ray of sunshine for investors and businessmen. A predictable market environment is key to the success of growing economies. 
The UAE has taken great care to diversify its domestic and international investments through entities like the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. This provides a stable social and economic ecosystem for people, capital and companies alike. One thing that really describes the uh, UAE and the leadership of the UAE is the uh, stability and the safety that has been created in this country. The UAE established a committee to address all the issues of uh, challenges that was happening in some of the banks, addressing some of the uh, issues concerning some of the companies. And within two years, we have been able to uh, address these issues and uh, provide for the solutions of these issues. And not a single company in the UAE have filed for bankruptcy. And of course, this conduct Activity between the leadership and the people have created a, a much uh, stronger sense of stability in the country. The quick actions from the government uh, during the 2007-2008 uh, crisis was uh, one of the uh, main reasons for resolving uh, these issues in a much more amicable way than uh, what has been happening in many other parts of the world. The UAE security sector has achieved many developments that prompt the upgrades of the financial markets to emerging market status in 2014. In accordance with the best international practices, we are working now to upgrade the financial markets to developed status over the next few years. The UAE financial markets, including the Abu Dhabi security markets, the Dubai financial markets, and Dubai Golds and Commodities Exchange, the first of its kinds in the region. The Securities and Commodities Authority, as the regulator of the financial sector, has benefited from its membership in major international organizations and adopt best international practices to protect investors and establish the foundations for the proper and fair conduct of business, such as disclosure, transparency, and corporate governance. These significant capital inflows into the country are served by a range of currency, stock, and commodity exchanges that cater to every type of investor through liquid and accessible transaction options. As the most reliable economy of the Gulf region, the UAE offers an unparalleled level of stability for any business. No other country can demonstrate such accelerated pace of growth since its creation just over 40 years ago. Such unprecedented expansion could not have taken place without a crystal clear vision to drive its reach into every sector of the economy. With a clear, ambitious drive to build the country into a leader in as many fields as possible, the Founding Father's vision has framed every project delivered in the Emirates. The country continues to do so to this day. The UAE, of course, uh, as I mentioned, is a, is a country uh, which, uh, with a lot of objectives. I mean, if you look at uh, Dubai winning 2020, Expo 2020, uh, if you look at uh, you know, our target of improving in the number of passengers uh, using our airports to so almost 200 million, a lot of people will think these are really impossible to do. This is how we started a long time back in 1971 with almost nothing. But we came a long, long way. The UAE government has put a strategy, and the strategy was very clear concerning certain targets had to be achieved through different ministries. And we are able also to uh, analyze and evaluate ourselves at the end of every year and make sure that we are moving so many steps ahead as opposed to uh, going back. Among the massive projects in the real estate sector, built to grow the nation, a few span over 40 million square feet of land, and will rival and, in fact, host the seven wonders of the world. The UAE Vision 2021 is established as a vision for growth for the United Arab Emirates. Taking into consideration the UAE's growth since 1971 till date, it is considered one of the fastest growing economies in the world. The real estate development sector has a noticeable contribution to this growth. The most important pillar that the real estate market concentrates on is sustainable environment and infrastructure. Considering the political and economical situation worldwide, especially in the Middle East, the UAE has been implementing strategies and plans to shift the vision and adapt to the global market. And this has been done by prioritizing the welfare and well-being of families and individuals by providing secure, prosperous, and comfortable lifestyles. To achieve an economic growth for the real estate market, these goals have to go hand in hand between the private sector and the governmental sector. 
Serving the nation's vision for growth, the real estate sector coupled with the continuous investment in infrastructure are accomplishing the UAE's long-term growth goals. The UAE offers significantly attractive opportunities to businesses through its diverse, stable environment and prosperous economy. Beyond that, each of the seven Emirates brings something unique to the table. Abu Dhabi remains by far the largest emirate, with a long shoreline and vast expanses of desert sheltering the Al Ain oasis. Abu Dhabi Emirates and Abu Dhabi City is the capital of the UAE, and it is uh, today driving the economic growth throughout the country. Abu Dhabi economy today, uh, in the form of its GDP or aggregate demand, makes up 65% of the UAE aggregate economy. Dubai is well known, mostly for its many free zones that offer attractive structures to foreign companies setting up in the UAE, and for the quality of its infrastructure. Dubai has everything uh, from the business community who want to come here to start a business, to the logistics, and also people who want to come here for work and to be in a very safe place. Sharjah offers a large number of cultural events throughout the year, along with traditional heritage and values. Sharjah is a modern emirate with a twist. We place as much focus on culture and education as we do on the economy. We also invest heavily in human capital. This diversified economy has laid the foundation for sustainable, positive growth. Ras Al Haimah is home to several solid industrial players, with a strong focus on the construction industry, seeking its raw stone material from the nearby mountains. Ras Al Haimah has earned a reputation as a gateway for businesses. Uh, Ras Al Haimah's economy continues to grow, uh, attracting uh, more investors uh, for uh, real estate, uh, services, hospitalities, and uh, educational sectors. Fajera is the only emirate with shores on the Indian Ocean and is well equipped with a large seaport to rival the major global shipping hubs. Uh, once uh, the uh, uh, Vice President of UAE and the Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum gave it a name, he called it the breathing lung of UAE. Uh, Port of Fujairah, located outside the state of Hormuz, gave it very strategic location for the um, shipping uh, line, business of um, bunkering services and ship chandlers is considering Fujairah as one of the largest areas in the world. And while the smaller emirates of Ajman and Umar Quain appear more discreet, each offer attractive free zone status for new companies. Ajman's main business sectors are retail, wholesale, contracting and construction, industrial sector. It also makes its best efforts to support the SME. His Highness, Sheikh Saud bin Rashid al-Mu'alla, the ruler of Mokwain, established Omokwain industrial area with a built-up area which is more than 70 million square foot. UAQ has natural islands, and looking to the future, Omokwain is looking to develop both the industrial and the tourism sector. Across all industries, across all the Emirates, the UAE offers a unique combination of infrastructure, services, logistics and more. It's time to join the winning team.